Hi, are you trying to do an image copy of your computer using Drive Image XML and you're getting the wonderful VSS volume shadow copy error? Well, I've already got an email from that friend saying, hey, I'm getting this error, what can I do? So I'm going to walk you through the process of how to troubleshoot this. So on the screen here, because we should be doing picture in picture, uh, I am at the runtime.org website. They're the makers of Drive Image XML. And so on their at their FAQ page, they have a really common error. So if we go down here, why am I getting a VSS error when I try to back up a drive? Here are all their reasons. Uh, this error can occur if the volume shadow service isn't running, right? And then they say, you know, this is basically due to a poorly configured Windows system. Well, the volume shadow service isn't always running on everyone's computer. Anyway, and here's how they tell you to go about seeing if it's running. Uh, and you actually need to make sure two services are running. So we'll go through that. Uh, then it also says you need to make sure that uh, your partition uh, has at least uh, one volume that's NTFS. In this day and age, all of your volume should be uh, NTFS. FAT is not only insecure, but it's uh, inefficient. And there are ways to convert uh, your existing partitions, um, but maybe we'll save that for another video. Anyway, then at the bottom here it says make sure this is running uh, in your task manager. If not, you may need to register. Uh, these DIL files and registering DIL files. If you Google that, you'll find uh, the instructions for that. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if these services are running. So the way I like to get to my services area is I click on the start menu, I right click on my computer and do manage. You can go the long way through the control panel as well. So we'll bring this up. Alright, and here we are at computer management. And you guys are probably familiar because here we have the event viewer, we got the device manager. Anyway, we're going down to services and applications. Open this up. And then what I like to do is uh, just switch to the standard tab right here rather than look at the extended tab, which is usually will give you a description of whatever it is uh, that you've selected. So, you know. Anyway, we'll go to standard tab. So we're going to scroll down to the volume shadow services at the bottom. There it is, or volume shadow copy. And first, let's check this out. So let's right click and do properties. What is this? Volume shadow copy, here's a description of what it does. Ah, here's this VSSVC.exe. So now we know where it lives. And the startup type is manual. So that means right now it's not running. Okay, so let's quickly check that other one, which they said is the MS Software Shadow Copy Provider. Uh, so if we scroll up. Yeah, and I don't actually see it. Oh, just kidding. There it is. Shadow copy provider. And that also isn't running. So what do we do if these aren't running and you're having this problem? Well, I'll tell you on my system, I'm actually able to do the backup without these services running. But let's just say you're not able to, right? And let, let's go back to the runtime uh, software. Here it is. Welcome. Da, da, da. Right? I'm going to go through and show you what it should look like. And then we'll go and turn those services on in case when you do these steps, it's not working for you. All right, so backup drives to image files. That's what we want to do. So now it's checking. And I'm just going to select my C drive, which is a 12 gig, and as uh, the one I'm going to back up. So you select it, you hit next, and uh, then it, this is a summary. Basically, this is the drive we'll be backing up, or the partition. We hit next. Now at the top part here, the directory, this is where you choose the destination. This should be your external hard drive. What I did was I picked the T drive, which is really my temporary uh, partition. Uh, it's about five gigs or so, so I just I usually use that for uh, backing up movies. And then, uh, here for the file name, often what I'll do is I'll date it. Uh, and if this is for a particular system, sometimes I'll do the I'll do the name. So I'll do it like this: 2009 01. Is it even the 15th already? Oh my God, it is. All right, uh, Adria. Adria, and try not to put uh, apostrophes in. Okay, Adria, right? And then this is the default. Leave it on there. Try volume locking first. So that's what it does first anyway. It doesn't try the volume shell service anyway first, right? So we just hit next. Then you should see these DAT and XML files created, and then boom, it's going through your sectors. Now, I have seen new Dell servers complete uh, the backup process in, in under an hour. Really nice. I've also seen older servers take upwards of 12 hours to do this image. So if you find, uh, you know, if it's taking 12 hours on your workstation, I would suggest that you look at upgrading your system, get a 
newer system because you're going to spend less time waiting for backups to complete. The nice thing, though, about Drive Image XML is you can do it while your computer is running. So that was one of the things I talked about uh, in the video, and that's not a drag where you have to reboot the system into some special mode and you got to wait. So, um, all right, I'll cancel it. So now what we'll do is we'll go back over to the services. All right, and that has been canceled. Here are my services. So I'm going to start the volume shadow copy service, and the most direct way is to say start. Now, if you determine that this fixes your problem, what I would suggest doing is changing the startup status from manual to automatic. So now let's go for the Microsoft MS Shadow Copy. And we start this one as well. Boom. Okay. So those are the things I would do. And then uh, to change a service uh, startup status, we'll go back down to the um, Volume Shadow Copy. Right click and do Properties. And right here, you just go automatic and then hit apply and OK. And then you're done. So you could test this then by rebooting and starting the process over again. One, to see if the services are now starting uh, automatically uh, as you requested and if the backup works. So I hope this helps. And always keep the questions coming. And I will do my best to answer them uh, accurately and honestly.